nothing remains the same when the call to prayer Allahu Akbar is raised. Large crowds gather from every corner, leaving behind their diverse lives to unburden their worries at the doorstep of the mosque. A spiritual world is painted on their faces, reflecting tranquility and serenity. Prayers and contemplation guide them to safety, thus their souls ascend, making everything else in life seem insignificant in the face of overwhelming purity. In the south of Serbia lies a region known as the Land of Bears. I am Arbor Sadiki, architect from Pristina. I am today in front of uh, my building, uh, Mosque in Topala, which I want to uh, present to the world because this is one of the buildings that I did last 20 years working doing architecture and this is one of my lovely buildings. I didn't want to compete with the nature, but what I wanted to do is to create kind of uh, a relation or uh, a kind of conversation, discussion between the nature and, 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 and uh, the building. And the idea was to come with a single volume, very clear, uh, form like uh, cubis and to be very readable in the landscape but not to be arrogant and not to be imposed to the general view. I believe that uh, one building uh, dedicated to God uh, must manifest some attributes of truth and I think the cube is nothing true that, that, than, that true is than a cube. Uh, even the Qibla or Kaaba it's a single cube. So the idea was to come with a very clear form that is true for any, any, anyone in order to bring uh, a building that, uh, as I said, is very readable in the, in the landscape but not imposed and not arrogant. Medveda, here a small village surrounded by breathtaking nature, stands firm with the mark of traditional villages. Topala, a place of calm and serenity, captures the eye. It boasts a splendid architectural creation, unwavering and refined, a small area not exceeding 84 square meters. Here in this, in this uh, location, it's uh, very hard to find companies that are interested to come and build here. So it was a real challenge to uh, implement designs because we used to work with the people who was not the masters for, 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 for buildings, you know. And it was a full engagement of me, my colleagues, uh, to come here and teach the people how to do uh, things here in the location. Uh, and, uh, but this is maybe the thing that pushed me to not give up. Because when you see the people, the community that wants to have such a building, uh, and you see a lot of difficulties during this process, uh, it comes to you a more uh, ambition to continue and to come to the, to, 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 to the end. Lies amidst fertile agricultural surroundings of Topala. Embraced by trees, the mosque resembles a mother embracing her only child. Nature plays its role. Uh, as I said, when you, when you build a religious building, you should keep some traditional elements. And if you go deeply to the uh, Islamic architecture, you can find uh, cupolas, domes, uh, curves. And in that sense, we used inside in the interior uh, to bring the, the, the light inside through the zenithal windows, which came through the curve walls which brings the, the, the sunlight inside, but when you're inside in the prior hall, you cannot see windows. So some kind you are isolated from the nature, but you have a lot of light inside. And it gives a uh, kind of very uh, uh, good uh, space for uh, being 100% uh, kind of divided from the nature but in the same time you are linked with uh, through the sunlight uh, kind of meditation and full oriented uh, 
to prior. We used here materials that uh, were accessible in this in this uh, location. So here uh, the building is done by a, a concrete which we produced here and uh, blocks that uh, we brought from the, 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 the city. And uh, all other materials are kind of improvisation here. Uh, nothing uh, produced somewhere and, and, and uh, right here. Celebrating this mosque, showcasing harmony and coherence between nature and countryside. Awakening the mind to admire its every detail, starting with a winding path leading to a simple entrance, it gives a welcoming gesture to anyone who beholds it. The white interior and exterior of the mosque symbolize purity and cleanliness. I was surprised when I, 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 I was informed that I'm shortlisted. Uh, but I think what makes very uh, specific this building it's the uh, its uh, relation with community and its relation with nature but mostly with community because i think that this is a building that really serves to the community and it is the main purpose of any building for me is to serve to the people so this is what makes this this uh, building unique because it uh, has been done by community and it serves to the community. So I, I, I gave here just a, a, a small contribution, but I think the main contribution of this, uh, that we have today this building is the contribution of the community. While its concealed windows exude spirituality throughout its spaces, the upper bend of its vertical walls paves the way for light. The sun becomes an outlook from which rays settle in its corners, creating an intimate and spiritual seclusion that doesn't disturb the clarity of anything else. This is a story from a book where the heroes are human in nature, built with simplicity and modesty, proving that beauty doesn't necessarily require high costs. The mosque was established in 2015 by local hands. A gathering square in front forms a meeting place, strengthening the bonds of the community. It is difficult to find a small building that fills the heart with spaciousness and tranquility. And it is even more challenging to create an architectural masterpiece with simplicity and pure local hands. Uh, of course, that uh, uh, today, uh, as uh, architect, you are every day uh, faced by many, many uh, sources of architecture, and uh, particularly when you start to do some specific things, like mosques are. Uh, it's not so hard today to. Uh, find the uh, credible awards such as uh, uh, Alphazon is. Uh, of course, that it's it's maybe young, but uh, through uh, its activities, uh, it shows that uh, uh, they are very very serious what in what they are doing. And when I saw what uh, buildings have been awarded in the former uh, years. I, 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 I had no doubt that I should uh, participate and why not? And to, to present to the world, to the Islamic world and to the world in general, what we are doing here. Five of these mosques stand out among the competitors to be a symbol of architecture and a sanctuary for worshippers in the Al-Fazan Initiative for the fourth consecutive session.